South African ice dancers Fiona Kirk and Clinton King, the first world since 1968 for the South Africans, and Kirk and King, well, you guessed it, finished last. But their story, a significant one. We'll share it with you when we return. It's official, first time ever for the Russians. They sweep ice dancing. The top U.S. couple did finish ninth. Historic moment for the Russians, Tom. It's a sign of the changing political times that the flags of the International Skating Union will be raised, where flags of the Soviet Union would have gone up in years past. And for one country, the carpet leading to the medals podium was symbolic. For one country, the carpet of opportunity was rolled out again. The skaters from South Africa didn't expect to be on that carpet or on the medals podium. They were just glad to be in Oakland. It's been 24 years since South African figure skaters were seen at the World Championships. Geneva in 1968 was when South African skaters last represented their country on ice. With the international spotlight denied them, South Africans gradually accepted a lowering of their sights. I think you grow up just accepting that you're not ever going to do anything internationally. You know, um, you, you, you set your goals in South Africa. And that was it. When you reached it, that, then you went on to... You know, something else. Because of its policy of apartheid, South Africa was banned from the Olympics in the 1960s. And the International Skating Union withdrew its recognition of the country, depriving a generation of South African skaters their chance to compete on a worldwide stage. What was really difficult for our skaters was um, that they had no role models. They never saw the Coot Brownings or, the, you know, any of the great skaters. Um, so for them it was pretty difficult to imagine what they were coming up against. I think in their minds it was quite unbelievable that people were performing at that standard and now it's really they're able to see. And see it they have with their eyes popping. The four South Africans were not even born the last time their countrymen skated the worlds. It was the stuff of dreams. Representing South Africa, Fiona Kirk and Clinton King. It wasn't a part of our lives. And now that it all of a sudden it is, it's just like hit you. Now you, you, you take your goals so much further. And it seems, our skating career seems so small compared to what we, we were actually looking at quite a big career. Now it just seems so tiny and we've got so much work to do and so much to catch up on. It's quite exciting. Just appearing at the Worlds meant a chance to mingle with the best. Last night, um, Chris and Miguchi, it was like the first practice that I had, like we had together. And I sat and I watched a whole short program instead of practicing on the ice. <laughs> it's like triple lips here and triple cherry there. It was great. Free time even allowed thoughts of a skating career full of new possibilities. If I could skate the Olympics, that's my greatest dream come true. Like, you know, worlds, I'm here. Hopefully Olympics, here we come. <laughs> so world skating welcomes back the South Africans while saluting the continuing dominance of the Russians and Klimova and Ponomarenko. We'll be right back. A historic ice dancing Russian sweep. The medal ceremony reflective...